Hello and welcome to the first research and development lecture in this course on pre-MBA for undergraduates. So in this course we are going to start teaching you now how to do research and development or R&D to manage a business successfully. And in this particular lecture we will start with uh, talking about what is involved in research and development and we are going to talk about core things and and how can you do whatever is involved in terms of making those decisions and implementing them and we will do an overview so that later on we will get into details in the subsequent lectures right so what do you think is involved in research and development you should have got the hang of our whole approach so what questions are the ones that is needed to be answered primarily in doing research and development for managing a business successfully. Basically, you need to answer two questions. One of the primary focus of the R&D team is to develop new products and services, right? So what they need to decide is what new products will be developed. And of course, this decision will be taken from the business strategy or business team when does these new products to be uh, developed and uh, given for to marketing for introduction and the whole, whole question is how would you go about developing these new products and teams if you are heading research and development this now the role of r&d doesn't limit only to new products you also need to continuously improve the cost quality and timing time taken to manufacture of the existing products because your competition is there and who else can tell you this better than your marketing who comes and tells you hey can we reduce the cost of this product because you you are facing pricing pressures in the market or can we improve the quality the competitors have introduced new features so can we not also do that or can we do still better than what they have introduced so so you you and your team has to see how can you improve the cost quality and time taken to manufacture or source the existing product right so how do you make these uh, decisions and implement them any thoughts on this let's begin with the new product development let's give you an overview of how can you do uh, develop the new products and services right See, basically, what you need to do is to formulate a NPD roadmap. And this comes primarily at the senior management level of R&D, which if you are an R&D director, it would be your primary responsibility. And then you also need to assign resources. And uh, then you need to, once you assign resources to develop the new products, for each of the new products, you need to ensure that your team develops a project plan for implementation and then implement and monitor the plans. So that's broadly the four steps that you need to ensure are taken in new product development. Formulating a new product roadmap, assigning resources for development of new products, developing project plan for each NPD and implementation and monitoring of the plans. Let's look at how do you do on existing products how do you improve the cost quality and time how would you ensure that continuously you and your team are improving the cost quality and time uh, for existing products any thoughts here again uh, we have a simple process for you as an overview and we will get into details later on in subsequent lectures so again you need to assign responsibility and resources because that's the top management job so being an R&D director you would need to say who is responsible for uh, what product for continuous improvement in cost quality and time? Then the first step would be to set up a measurement system where you can existing you can measure the existing cost quality and time levels of the key products, right? Key products is the you will not do for everyone, but you will do for key products. Then you need to set the goals for the security improvements. What levels do you want to reach? What's your target? Then develop action plans and then implement the plans. And uh, this would require to work of a team along with you as an R&D director to ensure that these plans are developed by the assigned resources and then implemented. So that's how at an overview level you could improve cost quality time of existing products. So what do we do next? 
So in the next module, we'll start looking at the new product development. The first question, how do you go about developing new products? And we will look at one of the steps of this uh, new product development process of formulating the NPD roadmap. So thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, first lecture of research and development. I hope you're beginning to learn new things, beginning to enjoy. And I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture.